Hey guys, in this video I wanted to do a showcase on the champion that has the highest single target damage in the game, and that is Elder Skarg. So Elder Skarg is a champion that has one of the highest base attack in the game at 1630, and he has a skill that has the highest total multiplier in the game. So his A2 hits 3 times and can place 3 extra hit if the target has 3 or more buff or debuff. So in total he hits 6 times and each hit has a multiplier of 2. So in total this skill has a multiplier of 12, 6 times 2. As a comparison, Turvold, who is also uh, another big hitter, his ability has a multiplier of 3, so 3 times 2, so he hits uh, as a multiplier of 6. So Elder Skark has doubled the multiplier of a Turvold. So where is the best place that uh, can that I can kind of test his uh, damage multipliers to the limit? And that's right, that is the clan boss. The clan boss is uh, just a meat bank where we can pump as much damage as we want onto a champion and test them out in clan boss. And the great thing is that I was able to build him in a way where I'm able to use him in an unkillable team and test him in an entire clan boss run. So despite his ability to deal damage, he has a flaw in that his AI is not exactly ideal for clan boss. So his ability, his A3 ability, which places increased defense on himself and places fear on all enemies, does not work on the clan boss because the clan boss cannot be feared. And in an unkillable team, increased defense uh, is it doesn't matter at all. So basically, he uses this skill every three turns, and then he uses this on a clan boss. So he uses this skill every three turns, and this skill basically does nothing. So. In the run that I'm about to show is that the whole run was done manually where I only used his A1 and A2 to kind of showcase his potential in clan boss if he were not to use his A3 on auto. So if Polarium ever changes their uh, Elder Scar's AI to not ever use his A3 on auto, he is definitely one of the hardest hitting champion for clan boss. And the other interesting thing about Elder Skark is his A1. So his A1 uh, attacks one enemy and places increased speed buff on himself if he crits and places a crit rate buff if he doesn't crit. So if you are able to, if you build him with 100% crit rate where he always crits, he basically has a permanent increased speed buff on himself. And you can tune this with his speed. So as you can see, he has 122 speed right now. And the reason I'm able to put him at 122 speed is because he has a permanent increased speed buff on himself. So you can basically tune him as if he has that extra 30% speed. So the 30% of 127, it makes him about at about 159 speed. So that's what's great about him. So at this such a low speed, I am able to gear him up with such a high attack, 6.4k attack. Then I have him at 66% uh, crit rate and 259 crit damage. So I'm pairing him with a Krila in my team, which gives him an extra 30% crit rate. So I'm, I wasn't able to get him to 70% crit rate in this uh, run, but um, it didn't affect my run in any way. So yeah, so let's go ahead. Uh, oh, right, I can show you his masteries. So since most of it, he does his six hitter, so I have him in Giant Slayer to uh, take advantage of the 6 hitter and giant slayer procs so, and I have him in the counter attack master with life drinker and I have him in the fury set as well so I've tested him earlier with a tr triple cruel set and with the triple cruel set he has um, about 7.4k attack 7.2k attack but I found that the fury set actually made him deal more damage so the fury set is better in this case um, yeah, so since uh, since I didn't did the run entirely on manual, I pre-recorded the run, so I can just go over the run and maybe explain it a little while the run is going. So here's the video of the run. So I'm I have I'm currently have him built in a team 
uh, in a double is an easy double man eater team where the two man eaters are at um, two one five and uh, sorry two one four and two one nine speed. The two DPSs are at one seven one speed and Elder Skark is at uh, one two seven, but with his increased speed buff, he's uh, essentially at one fifty nine speed. So this three DPS. Um, so if you want to build a similar team, you can build with them with the exact same speed, and you can use any of the three DPS champions. So in this team specifically, I needed Krila to place the increased crit rate, and she also provide the increased attack for the attack base champion to deal more damage. And she also obviously provides the ally attack. Venus is here to provide the decreased defense and weaken. So you can use any champion that uh, provides increase, uh, sorry, decrease defense and weaken. You can use a Fane, you can use a Draco. The reason that I'm using Venus here is because the clan boss is on magic affinity. So I, I was not able to use Fane since she's negative affinity to this clan boss. And I don't have a Draco. If you have a Draco, Draco is, is the best option in this position. Then right here we have Elder Skark who is the highlight of this team showcase. Yeah, so we can wait for uh, one of his ability to show and we can take a look at this damage. So he should be using it in the next turn. He should use it right now. So there, each hit does about 110 damage and this is when he was not uh, under half 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 health when he's under half health with the fury uh, in effect it does about 120k each so 120k times 6 is 720k damage in one skill that is an incredible amount of damage and not including the giant slayer proc so on average it does maybe about an 850k damage in one skill compared to a Turvold who normally is able to do at, at max 400k per hit. So Elder Skark's ability is, does much more damage than a Turvold. Yeah, so there, right there again, you can see 120k, 110k right there. And it also places HP burn as well. So I've built him with accuracy. Uh, if the HP burn is not something that uh, you want, you can also forego accuracy and just stack up the crit damage and attack. Yeah, so I'm just going to let the run uh, go on uh, fast forward and I'll get back to you when the run is done.
Yep, there you have it. It was a very close one key there. Yeah, the last decreased defense got resisted. If it wasn't resisted, it probably maybe got 71 million. But anyway, yeah, this is uh, one key. Venus doing 18 million. Krila doing 10 million. Elder Skark doing 22 million. The highest damage dealer in this team. Uh, both the man eaters about 10 million each. So, I mean, if 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 I have a Draco here to replace Venus, uh, I'm confident that Draco will do probably 5 million more damage and it'll be a comfortable one key. But yeah, as I mentioned before, this team is entirely done in manual because Elder Scar uses his A3 on auto. If somehow his AI changes where he only uses his A1 and A2, I think he would be one of the higher damage dealers in the game uh, for a clan boss. Yeah, so I can uh, show my gear. So as mentioned before, Elder Scar is in Fury set. So I'll just go over the gear quickly. Yeah, so I have him in crit rate, as much attack as possible, attack boots, attack ring, crit damage and attack. He only needs 22 speed, so the speed requirement is really low. You can gear him uh, as extreme as you want. So he has 6.4k attack, uh, the crit rate, crit damage and accuracy. Uh, I, had, I have him booked just for more damage. I mean, he doesn't need his A3 to be booked at all. If, if you want to book him, for clan boss, which I, I don't really recommend uh, using him for clan boss actually, but just for fun, uh, his A1 and A2 is the one you need to book. If you don't land his A2 at all, that would be best. And for masteries, uh, yeah, I have him in Giant Slayer, the Life Drinker, and Counter Attack. My Krila, I have her in Reflex Gear and Cruel. Uh, 4.6k attack, 171 speed, 240 crit damage. And my Venus in retaliation gear for counter attacks, 171, uh, 4.8k, 70%, uh, 244 crit damage, and accuracy. For masteries, I have her in the offense and support 3. So I don't have her in the counter attack mastery, that's why I have. Uh, the retaliation gear on her and Akrila mastery. Yep, she has um, the life drinker and counter attack mastery. As for both man eaters, one of them is in toxic gear because Venus alone doesn't provide enough, uh, doesn't fill the debuff bar. So I had one of the man eaters in toxic. So it's 214 speed, the attack, crit rate, crit damage, and uh, I didn't focus on accuracy at all. Masteries is the counter attack and life shrinker war master is the same mastery in the second man eater and this one is just going for pure uh, attack and crit damage so it's 3.5k attack 272 crit damage and no accuracy with a 219 speed. Yeah. So this is just uh, another showcase of a slow team and with Elder Skarg as the main uh, champion in this team to showcase. I'll be doing another video with uh, a more, I guess, a more stable team shortly. So keep an eye out for that. All right, thank you for watching. Goodbye.